Greetings, you people. Hello, my king. How's it going? How has it been? This is Briar Stone. I do indeed welcome you back to some more Curious Expedition, a game that is uh, proven to be quite fun. Now, in the last video, I was like, how do I get more funds? I figured it out. I, uh, you get funds by selling things off at the end of your expedition. For instance, that mushroom that I kept, <laughs> I could have sold it for like 20 funds. I could have sold the damn thing. I did not do that, in fact. Um, so we have no funds to start our adventure. This is probably going to get very, very difficult very, very fast. So, anyway, I'm going to go for either the Dale Grasslands or for the Magnificent Grasslands. I am not going for the Unseen Drylands because, well, it says experienced explorers should only venture here. It seems like it's telling me it's a bad idea for you right now to do that. So don't do that. Um, so I won't. Instead, I'm going to go to the Magnificent Grasslands. You know why? You know why? Because they're magnificent. <laughs> Let's start the expedition. Eagerly anticipating the upcoming adventure, I stored my equipment on the ship. The captain had yet to arrive, so I had one last pot of tea. A trader approached me while I waited. He was a collector of sorts and promised to pay well for any instruments that I would return with. Right. Remy Edwards, a cultist, offered to join our expedition. We had five persons in our trek. We could or would need to dismiss someone in order to recruit a new member. Dismiss a trek member. Uh, no thanks, sorry. We already have, um, I think we have a cultist, don't we? Just in time, our ship was prepared to put out to sea. Set sail, purchase equipment. Is there anything we can do here? I'll use the remaining time to visit the local outfitter before venturing out. I knew that many of these items would be hard to come by in the wild barter. Alright, so I can give, I can toss things his way and he can toss things my way. Um, to save on time, machetes are always great. So let's do that. Now, do I want to actually get rid of any of these? Yeah, this is, this is health. This might actually work, though. Although I don't have any funds. So he doesn't want to barter that way. I need money. He doesn't want to barter at all unless I have money. Right. Hmm. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, there's nothing I can give him. Okay, then cancel. We're just going to set sail and we're going to hope for the best. Right, right. We're going to find this golden pyramid and everything will be fine. Do not worry yourselves, everybody. Do not worry yourselves. Um, these guys are still aggravated. Scared of butterflies and moths. Damn. Really? I'm totally fine. <laughs> find an instrument. Finish the expedition with an instrument in your possession. Oh, that's what he wants to do. He wants to find an instrument. There are quests like this? That's just fantastic. I need to pay more attention to this game. Now, if anybody is watching me for the first time, you're like, Hey, this guy, this guy has, uh, he, he has no idea how to play this damn game. You're right. Um, in fact, I have no idea how to play a lot of the damn games I play. However... Uh, why, 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 are you, are you having fun? Hope you, hopefully you're having fun. Um, let's go here. What do we have? We have, oh, a village. Enter hut. Oh, not a village, just a hut. We entered a mysterious looking hut. The place smelled of old wet wood, with all kinds of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the damp walls. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. Can I have some of those leaves, please? Ask for cleansing. Mmm, that might be helpful. But what do I have to give to him? The shaman was willing to offer his services, but demanded payment up front. Like what? I'll give you that. Hey, that works. Deal. The shaman was able to do it. In fact, the shaman snatched the offered goods and then beckoned the, effect, the afflicted to lie on the ground before him. All right, who has what now? Oh, you have all these things, in fact. Uh, you have lots of things. Who, which one is the kleptomania? In fact, these two both have kleptomania. I find that annoying. Um... Alright, so we're gonna get one, the one with the butterflies, we need to get rid of that, for sure. There we go, then. The shaman began dancing around in a circle, he seemed to be communicating with the spirits, and after a short while, he calmed down and we helped Abraham Warrens get to his feet. Trade. Very slowly, the shaman got out a bag made of animal hide and presented his wares. Right, um, what is this then? A tome page of fertile lands, a page that was ripped from an ancient tome and is written in unearthly... Alien letters, but for some reason you know you can read it. Um, how many bullets would you like? Hey, I might get into trouble. I don't want to get rid of my bullets. In fact, I need my butterfly net too. Um, you know what? Just keep your stuff. You keep all that. That's fine. We're going to cancel this. And we're going to leave. And we're going to be just fine. Right? Right. Absolutely. Leaving. We should have left an hour ago. Alright, so this guy is all nice and happy. Abraham Warns is feeling better. Now, where do we go from here? We're going to go here. Right, is this the village? Oh, it's the village. Today we reached a village. Its inhabitants are proud of their martial prowess and were well-armed. Oh, good. 
The natives observed us with caution. They were polite and offered us what they could. Dahaba Meta politely introduced us and asked if we would be able to rest in the village. Generate, recruit, trade, leave. Um, I can't recruit anybody because, well, I don't have any space. I have to get rid of somebody. You know what? Recruit. We talked to the villagers to find out if anyone was willing to seek fame and glory. We found a villager who was eager to join our trek. Recruit the warrior. You have too many trek members. The native warrior joined our trek. While we still felt welcome, we could tell that the villager had become disturbed by our presence. So is there any way that I can get rid of somebody? Can I just, uh, you know, like this guy? Oh, that's Charles Darwin. I can't get rid of Charles Darwin. I am Charles Darwin. Scottish soldier. This is the cultist guy. I just, I just cleansed him up. I can get rid of you, right? Can I just remove you? No? Okay, then. Um, trade. Anything we can do for trade? What is this, then? Rope. Rule number one. The most important item of every self-respecting adventurer. <laughs> well, apparently, I don't respect myself because I don't have one. Um, you know what, council? We're just going to leave, then. Rest in the village? And... Yeah, you know what? Let's just rest in the village. We packed our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire. Not long after the evening, Irvin Morrison got into an argument with one of the natives. The villager accused him of stealing. Ah, uh, it could happen. Well, the situation calmed down soon after. We certainly made a bad impression on our hosts. Thanks, Morrison. Ass. Look at that then. We're, we've down five influence there. We got a good night's rest. The next morning, we were woken by a group of native children seemingly making fun about us for oversleeping. It was obvious that we had stressed the hospitality of our villagers more than politeness would indicate. Stay overnight, trade, leave. We're gonna leave. Alright, so we packed up from the track and headed out as new adventures awaited us. The villagers stared at us as we departed. The following days, we had the uncomfortable feeling of being watched. Probably. We made bad impressions, man. Bad impressions. Alright, so where are we going? It seems to be telling us that the, uh, the golden compass or the golden pyramid is this way, so... Let's head at least in this direction. It's gonna take us 18 hours, not 18 days. You have too many Trek members. Right, okay, so I need to. What, what's this then? Homesick is not willing to leave their home. Well, good. Can I just get rid of you then? How do I get. Oh, dismiss, I see. We discussed whether it was better to depart with. Yes, dismiss. Continue. We got rid of him. He didn't want to leave anyway. He's homesick and he hasn't even left home. What a loser. Alright, what's that then? Oh, that's a crocodile. I really don't want to get into any kind of a, a scrap like that. Alright, region analyze. What is it then? Examine. We examined the strange overgrown stone figure. The ghastly visage seemed to stare at us. It was a concerting sight. A disconcerting sight, in fact. And we desired to move on. We saw some items by the statue. They must have been put there by natives of this region, presumably in an attempt to appease the gods. Examine it. I don't know. They, I don't think I should be taking anything because, well, <laughs> it's a sacred place. It seems like it says a sacred place, but uh, I, I think I'm being followed. Salute. Um, is there anything here? There's nothing. So I'm just going to close it, and we're going to leave. Um, still says that the pyramid's done this way. So ten hours later. Is it, ten, is it hours? Is it hours or is it, uh, it can't be days. It's got to be hours. So travel, no, it says travel three days. Oh, it's costing ten sanity. I understand. Right. All right, okay, so uh, apparently what I need is going to be south of us here. Right. There's some place over here. I think we maybe we should go check it out then. We're starting to get a little bit paranoid again. Or at least these two are. He's still a kleptomaniac. Who are you? Morrison. Irvin Morrison. He's the kleptomaniac. Enter the village. We can do that. Let's do it. We entered a native village. Its inhabitants were proud of their martial prowess and were well armed. An ornate stone idol was placed in the village center. As soon as they spotted us, the natives approached us. We seem to have garnered a bad reputation as of late. Ah. Why do you always need to complain? What happens if you click on people while you're in here? Anything? No, they just tells you about them. Fine. Charles Darwin's still feeling pretty good. Um, you won't want to trade anything. I would like to see if I can find myself a mu musical instrument, and there is none. Spears are cool, though. Okay, cancel that. Um, recruit, stay overnight. Uh, let's stay overnight. Ah, the natives were willing to let us take shelter in an empty hut. However, they demanded compensation because of our disrepute. Right. I'll give you a bullet. Okay, not a bullet. Give me two bullets. Three bullets. I got a gun and no bullets. Whatever deal. 
<sighs> Sleep or steal the... Oh, damn. I have no bullets now. Stealing the idol seems like a really bad idea. Are oh, we're just gonna sleep then. We slept in great comfort and safety. The next morning we were woken by a group of native children seemingly making fun of us about oversleeping. A small boy laid down some plants by the idol. Oh, I see. Alright, let's so stay overnight. We're gonna leave. Continue. This is unfortunate. We are getting behind in terms of our awesomeness. And do we want to head over here then? It's the Golden Pyramid's this way, but there could be something over here. Oh wait, I'll, oh damn, never mind. Um, because look at, look at, look at this. Our standing is really bad. We're gonna start getting to fights here pretty soon. Magnetic Mountain? No. No, really? That's damn terrible. That's the, what, no, why, what, what, where are we going? Why did I, I, I clicked, I clicked, uh, shit. Cancel travel. Okay, never mind. Let's just go this way. Oh, what is that then? Ah, it looks like a bad, bad thing. It looks like a bad thing. Um, examine this. What is this? Examine. We examined the strange overgrown stone statue. The grotesque face seemed to stare at us. It was a disconcerting sight. We desired to move on. We noticed some items by the statue. Woo! Didn't say that we were being followed, so examine it. Loot it. What do we got? Torches. I'll take, I'll take four torches. I know I'll take this mangoes too. Take that. So what was useful to us. And we got minus two standing. Right, so we're going to eat this. Sanity. Bring that back up. Might as well all the way back up. I got some more torches, too. Um, so it's unfortunate because there's a magnetic melt, and that's what's making my compass go in that direction. So we really don't know where this place is. All right, let's just go around this way. And it doesn't seem like much to do about nothing, so let's just go this way. And hope to gods that we don't run into whatever that is. Into here? What's here then? Hey, I, uh, I found a region. Is it ruins of some sort? Explore. This bleak and ancient place was located in the middle of a swamp scattered with the remains of long dead elephants. For some reason, hundreds of the animals had come here to die. Search the area. We inspected some skeletons and found some well preserved elephant tusks. They could be sold for a high price. Loot it! Uh, we, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Everyone pack up. We're moving on. Good. Um, they didn't actually, we didn't lose any more weirdness. No more standing. We didn't lose any standing this time, at least. Now, it says that, uh, it could be this way, apparently. Urban's Fast Moth. That's, oh, no, that's a tiger. That's a tiger, and how do we get around that tiger? I don't know. We're gonna die. Yep, we're dead. Basically. We are going to die. And the compass is going everywhere. It doesn't tell me where I should... Really? Okay, so it could be up here, to be honest. Ah, uh, no, that's a tiger. How the hell do I... Let's go around this way. This will be fine. And we're going to go this way. Through here. Yes! Victory! Alright, our sanity, man. Our sanity is really low. However, we're going to explore this. It was a golden pyramid enthroned above the landscaping. Or the landscape. Overcoming all the obstacles yet we had yet survived. Enter the pyramid. After weeks of traveling, euphoria overcame me. I knew that my name would forever be remembered. Finish expedition. Woohoo! Current fame. Golden pyramid gives me another 140. Butterflies gives me an extra, what, five? Whatever. Days it took me. A significant amount. New fame, 334, finished expedition. I'm going to be pretty far behind the other guys, I think. Whatever. I get another perk, though. Perks are good. Right, right. Dream visions. Dreams that reveal important locations. Bullet hoarder. No, I no idea how, but a character with this perk finds a bullet somewhere every couple of days. Navigator. Increases the gained compass accuracy when uncovering fields. Oh no. Alright, I think this one was more important. The Navigator. Dreams that reveal important locations. Oh, damn. I have no idea which one I want. Any, many, money, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If she hollers, let him go. My mama told me to pick the very best one. And you are positively not it. So if this is not it, it's this one. You're right. 
There's people are cheering me on, man. It's like, oh, he knows the any mini money mo. I do know the any mini money mo. Right, I'm so far behind right now. It's ridiculous. Um, so what does this do? It gives me 20 fame or 60 funds. You know what? I'm selling it. There we go. 60 funds is going to be very helpful. I'm going to uh, gift this. I need all the help I can get right now. Moving me up just a little bit closer then. Continue. And yeah, another successful expedition, curiously enough. We have many other places that we can go and uh, visit next time. We have the Dark Grasslands. Um, this one seems harsh and desolate. We might do that, we might not. I'm not sure. We have 60 funds, so we might be able to buy more bullets and such. Merciless Drylands, a harsh and desolate area into which only experienced explorers should venture. I'm thinking... I'm not even sure, man. Not even sure. We'll look for another one of these next time. I hope to, um, you know what, I'm probably going to stick with the Dark Grasslands. I... Better safe than sorry? Does that make any sense? Or is that making me a cop-out? I don't even really know. Have a good day, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Barrier Stone. Sign a note.